you know, it's the best therapy to slap the shit out of Brad every day. <laughs> yeah, it was great to go uh, toe to toe with Brad. Yeah, man. It was easy and fun. This will go for it. Try to avoid the injury. Hi. There's a gun on Shrug. It's the quiet car. Got to use your small inside voice in here, son. There's a gun. God. Uh, so Aaron, I gotta ask you, one of the great things about 87 North, the company that, that did this, is that when the actors are fighting, you can see that they're fighting for real. And I just wondered for you, having done a few movies like these before, how was that experience different? And was it cool fighting it out with Brad Pitt? <laughs> yeah man no it was really different i think uh you know david leach gave us that that room to experiment and explore and really like push our sort of style what's great is every character in this has their own um unique kind of style and it's really like my style is re i'm this kind of scrawny scrappy fighter so yeah it was great to go uh toe to toe with brad and um i mean i think uh you know the first sequence stunt sequence that we shot was actually brian and brad's uh, fight sequence in the car and uh, they they set the benchmark super high and that's all that everyone talked about to the very end of the movie that that was the best best one there was so <laughs> what they were saying is up for debate but they were talking about it <laughs> like it was well, that actually brings up a point that i wanted to make with you brian because i mean i've you've been in massive movies lately but i've never seen you do like fights like you do in this movie and i was just wondering if you could talk a little bit about the training and how it was for you doing these like really cool like i loved you with the sword and stuff i thought that was pretty bad man you know it was a dream of mine i've always yeah. been a cinephile i've always loved the summer blockbuster i have always like I used to go to like dollar movies back in the day and watch like five movies in one day and just like, and just imagine being up there. Uh, and so when this script came along, I couldn't deny it. And uh, I told David, I was like, I want to do everything. I was <laughs> like, I want to do everything. Like if you need me to scale a building, I'll scale a building. If you need me to do that, I was, I was really in it. And also this was like, during the middle of the pandemic. So I just really wanted to get the fuck out the house. Like I was like, give me out the house <laughs> and, and let me do whatever it is that David Leach asks. And then when I find out that, you know, my first fight is with Brad, you know, it's the best therapy to slap the shit out of Brad every day. <laughs> really, it's the most cathartic thing. And to know that Brad was so game to do all these things uh, made it even better. So for me, I just really wanted I was living kind of a fantasy, man. Like, you know, you really get to see the brothers up there, like doing slow motion walks and having explosions behind them. And like you really get to see these things. And I really wanted to. Um, experience that I really wanted to play. I really, I really wanted to, uh, to chomp at the bit to work with Aaron, you know, to have, to be a part of a duo, you know, to be a part of a duo that hopefully will live along in the legacy of the duos in action uh, because Lemon and Tangerine, I don't know, they just played such a special part to my healing of 2020 um, and to this day. And so I, I just really wanted to make sure that I got a chance to play. And well, could we maybe get a Lemon and Tangerine spinoff? Everybody's talking about these extended universes now. Why not? <laughs> hey man, we're not gonna we're not gonna shake a huh? stick that, right? Aaron, come on, man, give it in. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do it. All right, man. I hope it happens. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate your time. Lemon, hmm. where's the briefcase? Oh, it's not shit. It was just it. We are right on schedule. Everything that's ever happened to you. This is gonna sting, bitch. <laughs> Whoa. I'll let you hear. Fate. That's a shit deal. You did a movie that I was a huge fan of when I was a kid with Michelle Yeoh. It was called Royal Warriors here. Oh, wow. Hong Kong movie. <laughs> yeah, I loved I loved that. I loved your Hong Kong movies. I've been what but I've been literally watching your stuff since I was a child. And I always thought you were the coolest guy. So it's a really big honor for me to talk to you, sir. Oh, thank you. <laughs> So I have to ask you, you're a guy who's been doing action for a long time. How, how is it working with a team like the team on 87 North when a lot of the actors who aren't necessarily known for doing martial arts are doing their own fight choreography? What was that like for you? It was fun and easy to communicate. Um, um, no need the words a lot, just showing them and then they react and then put some ideas together and then create the scenes every day on set. 
let me ask you when you're doing a, a pretty complicated fight scene such as the one at the end of the movie if you're fighting an actor that doesn't have the same kind of background that you do is it is it is that an extra challenge or does it not in the end make that much of a difference to you if the choreography is right yeah um sometimes hard or sometimes dangerous so <laughs> i'm doing very carefully and then check all the movement distance point so um but uh, i i've done that kind of thing many times so yeah i'm doing very carefully but on camera it's very fun um i'm trying to uh my best and try to avoid the injury <laughs> You cut and, somebody. <laughs> you never make them, yeah, hurt. <laughs> so one one of the things I really liked about the movie, though, is that I found you give the movie a lot of heart, your character, um, and that you don't always get that in action movies. Uh, was that something that you found refreshing about Bullet Train? Because at the end of the day, it is very character-based, I think. Yes, Um I think that's the best way because um, action and drama is must be matching, equal. And that's my uh, goal. So kind of, uh, it was a, one of the best role for me uh, because my character has a human drama, uh, family drama, and his, he has his own revenge to the end. You stab me? Ah! Ah, we ruin your life the way you ruin mine. Dude, I don't even know you. There's nothing simple about this job. Something else going on here. Yeah, I'm not the only one on this train looking for this case. Oh, no, thank you. You know what? Do you have um, anything sparkling? That's the one. Thank you. Domo arigato. You sure you want to talk this out? Not particularly, no. Uh, okay. Exclusively in movie theaters.